So I've been thinking a lot about the cultural zeitgeist and my desire to influence it, and also how Windows keeps failing to record these files because, well, Windows 11 is garbage. But <laughs> I, I, I recently saw that uh, both Hank Green on Twitter and PBS Spacetime on YouTube um, got correct uh, that plasma is not actually a phase of matter, because it's not, right? And uh, so Hank Green on Twitter was talking about how, like, you know, oh, we learn facts in school that aren't necessarily uh, correct in the full context. And PBS Spacetime actually fully explained sort of, um, you know, supercritical fluids and a bunch of other things. And thinking about how, like, you know, why, why do I always want to be a part of the cultural zeitgeist? Because, I mean, right now I have uh, essentially no influence over whatsoever, but I have delusions of grandeur where... Um, you know, perhaps I can. And, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's two reasons to want to be a part of it, right? On the one hand, there's sort of ego and narcissism and uh, self-aggrandizement. And on the other hand, there's just wanting things to be accurate and correct and steer the ship in a good direction. And, you know, never really know in what ratio those two things contribute to an individual's uh, output, especially my own. Um, I'd like to think it's, you know, more the latter, but of course it's a large degree of the former, and I think it's better to be self-aware of your own ego and not let it uh, get the better of you, although mine frequently gets the better of mine. Um, but anyways, what they, what they got right is that uh, plasma is not a uh, phase of matter, right, in the sense that, like, liquids and solids, right, like, you heat, if you have, like, a frozen solid and you heat it up to a specific temperature, it'll be solid, 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 and then all of a sudden you hit a specific temperature, it's the melting point uh, for that particular pressure it's under, and, you know, then you'll have, at that specific temperature, liquid and solid coexisting for a little while, and then you heat it up some more, and you'll get then nothing but liquid, um, you know, and in between it sticks at that one temperature. Uh, right, that's not so for plasma. Plasma is more like uh, a glass, right? People at some point often learn that glasses are not like uh, regular solids, right? You don't heat it up and then it suddenly melts, right? Glasses, you know, they're very rigid and then you heat them up and they get kind of soft and you heat them more, they get softer, you heat them up more, they get softer and eventually they do flow like a liquid. But there's no phase transition from liquid to solid for a glass. And so I was very, very glad that uh, they got this right, because plasmas are just like that, where you heat the plasma up more and more and more, and because plasma is just an ionized gas, right? But there's not a specific temperature where the plasma goes from being unionized to being ionized. It just, as you heat up a gas, more and more of it becomes ionized until eventually you get it hot enough that um, not exactly all of it becomes ionized, but, you know, it becomes, uh, you know, you can, it, it just becomes, ions start to flow freely. Um, there's a subtlety there about how thermodynamics works, where it's like the probability of being ionized becomes independent of the ionization energy, uh, because there's just so much energy around. It never actually becomes 100%. It follows something called the Boltzmann distribution. But anyways, I was just very glad that they uh, they got this right and this conversation is rolling. So, uh, you know, frequently I'll think that I have to be a part of the zeitgeist to correct certain things, and then uh, it'll, things will go in the direction I was hoping they would go anyways. Um, so, I don't know. But they're still, you know... Uh, but wouldn't wouldn't it be great if I could uh, fulfill my own ego? So you know, a little bit of both is fine. But uh, I, I, it's it's like the uh, the philosophy of of uh, Jung, right? It's better to be aware of the id um, rather than to try to suppress it. And you don't want to just you know you don't want to you know just do do everything you want to do, but you want to be aware of your own uh, sort of negative qualities rather than just uh, letting them control you. Uh, either either by not resisting them at all or by uh, you know, constantly denying them. It's better to be, you know, it's like a mindfulness exercise, right? To be aware of it and then, you know, sort of let it pass. But I, of course, get sucked into my own ego all the time. That's why I'm doing this. But anyways, they got it right about plasmas. And they even got it right about supercritical fluids, right? Because even the distinction between a liquid and a gas is not actually that well defined because you heat up a gas and uh, heat up a gas or a liquid enough to get it to high enough temperatures and pressures, you pass something called the critical point, and now there's no longer a distinction between liquid and gas even. 
And so, to a and, and in fact, to a condensed matter physicist, we're not even a hundred percent satisfied with the distinction between solids and liquids. I mean, those that actually is a proper phase transition. But a condensed matter physicist is only truly happy with something like taking a permanent magnet and then heating it up until it's past something called its Curie point, and then all of a sudden it'll lose its magnetization. Uh, and to us, that's like yes. For a condensed matter physicist, that is truly yes. That's the good stuff. That's a that's a real phase transition. Um, but anyways, so. They got it right, and I was happy.